you so well. Is your spirit still here? And if it is, what else are you going to do? What else? You're the reason I think she's in this house. You. Watching you tonight, it was as if the last six months had not happened. For an instant, I had thought that she was not dead. But you know she is dead. How well I know. Even if I didn't have the current, Mrs. Collins, to remind me. Roger. You know, you've done so many favors for Angelique. You do one for me now. Find Quentin. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. If Angelique had been here, Quentin would not have left. If he had, by some chance, he would have returned by now, begging her forgiveness. But Maggie needs him so much. I'm not interested in her needs. Well, perhaps she's learned something, I hope. Because, of course, she can't go on staying here. She'll never leave. Quentin doesn't want her here. Did he tell you that? He didn't need to. I could tell it in his face whenever he looked at her, comparing her with Angelique. <sighs> like a, a mouse, as opposed to a sable. Maggie's presence embarrasses him. He wouldn't admit it at first. But I know that he would be relieved if she left. No, surely he'd grieve. Only in front of those that had expected him to. Oh, Roger, you are cruel. Even where Quentin is concerned. No, I'm just realistic. As you would be if you had known him as long as I have. I saw him grow up. I saw him with Angelique. I know him better than anyone alive. And so, my dear Alexis, I'm not going to ask Quentin to come back. I'm going to wait for him to come back. Which is what you should do. If you have any sense. Why doesn't he come back? He must know how how terrible this is for me. Is he so obsessed with Angelique that, that I don't matter at all? Still waiting up? Oh, that's bad form, you know. Most husbands don't like their wives sitting up waiting for them. Good night, Roger. Especially in a marriage like this. You don't know anything about my marriage. Oh, don't forget, I lived through the last one in this house. So I know, by comparison. You're drunk. Well, I'm usually a little more perceptive when I am. You've been against me ever since I came to this house, Roger. Now, Quentin doesn't listen to you, and neither will I. He may not listen, but he thinks as I do. How little you know him. How very little you know him. You can't do that. Now, don't even think of it. I want to take the chance. Well, it is insane. Your first plan is working. Quentin and Maggie have separated. Just keep on with your plan. He will begin to be finished with her. Roger thinks he already is. Roger is a fool. No, he isn't. Not always. I know him better than you do. It's a mistake. No, you're wrong. It's the perfect time. There'll never be a situation like this one. Maggie is ready. She has all her reasons. Quentin is disenchanted with her. I will have nothing to do with it. You mean after all this time, you think you can walk out on me? You will do as I tell you to, Julia.
Who is this? Who is this? Alexis? No! What did that mean? Who would do that? You know very well who. Someone who was at the party. Why did it sound like Alexis? She was laughing and laughing oh, Maggie, and no. Then she called again. You don't have any idea who it was. Well, who was it, Maggie? Tell me. Darling, you can tell me. I'm your friend. I know it wasn't you, but I... the voice sounded like mine. Yes. It... I know that sounds ridiculous. It my wasn't my imagination. My sister and I had exactly the same voice. What? If we were in another room, one of us was speaking, you could never tell which one it was. Angelica's dead. But I've heard her voices from the dead. I don't believe that. But the telephone. The telephone, that's what's so curious. Maggie, I'm going back to your room with no. you. But I don't want you to be alone. I want to be alone when Quentin gets back. I... What's the secret, Hoffman? Secret? Something has happened in this house. Since you returned from your vacation, something has happened to you. Nothing has happened, Mr. Collins. You can lie to others, but not to me, Hoffman. You're imagining things, Mr. Collins. No, I'm not. Something has happened in this house to you. I don't like secrets, unless I'm included in them. And I will be. I will be. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Collins. Fear, I think. Fear. You must excuse me. I have a busy day tomorrow. Fight me. When I'm over one. You haven't won! 
Oh, yes, I am, Randy. Quentin loves me, not you. No, that isn't true. But it is. Look in the mirror. Look at what you are. Go on. Look. A poor substitute. A gauche, awkward little girl who no one wants around here, especially Quentin. Didn't you see the disgust on Quentin's face when you came down the stairs in my dress? Stop it! He doesn't love you. He knows now what a mistake he made. That's why he ran out. No, I won't let him. He can't bear the sight of you. And without his love, there is nothing for you to live for. Stop it! Go to the window. I won't let him. Go. To the window. Look down. It would be so easy, wouldn't it? To end everything quickly. All you suffer. Go, Maggie. Let go. Fall. There's nothing for you to live for without Quentin's love. Nothing to live for when he has shut you out of his heart. Go on, Maggie. Let go. Fall. What are you living for, Maggie? Quentin doesn't want you anymore. He'll never stop loving me. Stop it. Stop it. You cannot shut out the sound of my voice. Only death can do that. Why wait? I heard someone scream. Who was it? Oh, I don't know. It came from in there. I can't. Oh, let me go! Let me go! Maggie! Maggie! If you fight me, you'll take me down with you. Do you want me to die? I want to die! That's all I want! I'll handle this, Holton. Just leave us alone, please. Maggie, come away from the window. I'm begging you, let me jump. I want to die. I have nothing to live for. What do you mean? Angelique, she told me herself that she'll never give Quentin up. That she's the only one that Quentin wants, and it'll always be that way. I don't know what you're saying. Yes, I do. Angelique told me so herself. That's not possible. I heard her voice and she spoke the truth. Maggie, listen to me. Angelique is dead. You just imagined all this. I want to die! That's all I want! If you jump, you'll make Quentin feel guilty. Do you want to destroy him too? Maggie, come down from the window. Come with me. Nothing to live for. Nothing. Everything that she said was true. It was all true. Maggie. Maggie. My presence is in the portrait. Look at me. did it. She almost jumped from the window. Mrs. Stoddard heard her scream and came in and stopped her. Oh, Elizabeth was always too meddlesome for her own good. I know you don't agree, but it is better this way. Maggie Collins should be dead. And Quentin Collins would spend the rest of his life feeling guilty oh, about her death. I can handle his guilt. You want them to separate of their own free will. Maggie will never stay with Quentin after what he did to her tonight. Now you've won, but you just don't realize it yet. Yes. I know. Still the image of Maggie lying on the stone beneath my window. Cold. It was not an unpleasant one. However, you are right. I have one, and that's what's important, isn't it?
Blizzard? Barnabas. Come in, Barnabas. Is something wrong? What made you return so late? Well, I was wondering about Quentin. Well, come into the drawing room. I don't want to leave Maggie alone. Has Quentin come back? He'll never come back. As long as I'm here. Are you all right, Maggie? Of course she isn't. How could anyone be after an evening like this? I'll never forgive Quentin for running out like that. Never. I was only thinking of Angelique. Remembering her. I don't... I'm not interested in what he was thinking of. Here, drink this tea. No, please. Oh, please, Maggie. It'll make you feel better. Oh, thank you. Elizabeth is right. Drink just some of it. Perhaps it will help calm you. Barnabas, would you stay with Maggie while I go upstairs and fix a place for her in my room? I don't want her to be alone tonight. That's not necessary. It won't take me long. You stay here with Barnabas and drink some brandy. <laughs> 